Fox 8 News. Hi, everybody. Glad you're here. Crews remain on the scene of a massive industrial plant fire. This is in Painesville. Fox 8 News uh, has been covering the blaze from both on the ground and in the air. Our Melissa Reed is live at the scene right now. And Melissa, do they know what started the fire? Well, Tracy, there's still no official cause yet. That is because the building is still burning. So if you can see behind me, investigators still can't get in there to figure out what caused the fire. Now, this was a five alarm fire. So many different fire crews responded to this, and their big concern was over the substance that's being made inside the plant and how it would react if and when it caught on fire. Fire crews rushed to the scene of an industrial plant fire Thursday morning in Painesville. Heavy black smoke shown from the structure. Um, initially, crews uh, attempted to hook to the uh, fire protection systems. Uh, it was unclear whether or not they were working at the time. Fire broke out shortly after 930 at Hardy Industrial Technologies on Hardy Road. Sky Fox was up over the scene as flames poured from the plant. Been on the site since 2007. Uh, we manufacture provide, uh, primarily vegetable-based uh, nutrition and wax uh, products. There's a lot of tanks, uh, propane tanks on tow motors. There's a lot of 55-gallon drums of uh, different materials in there. And while the substance itself was not hazardous, crews were concerned about rail cars filled with a vegetable-type oil nearby. We have about 40 employees on site uh, in the building that was involved in this. There was probably about 12 people at the time. And again, everyone's safe and accounted for. Now, over 10 different fire companies were called to respond to the fire, but flames got so intense that crews were pulled from the building shortly before noon, and they're forced to just let the building burn. I heard a boom this morning, probably around, I want to say, 9-ish. Meantime, neighbors watched in disbelief as the plant burned. It was bad. I actually went and got our daughter from school early just to get her out of there because the buses have to come through the park. My dad worked there 42 years. I was in that place all, all the time. And now investigators must sift through the ashes to find out what caused the fire. Flames coming up, black smoke, um, like 10, 15 feet off the building. It was crazy. Now, a ch quick check of OSHA records revealed that this plant has no previous uh, citations by OSHA. However, a representative tells Fox 8 that they will be opening an investigation once this building is done burning. Now, Bill and Tracy, it's important to reiterate again, there were no injuries, just a couple of workers that were checked out by EMS here on site. But for the most part, no injuries, which is pretty incredible when you consider what's going on behind me. All right, more later on tonight. Thanks, Mel.